Here's how to check the real signal strength on your iPhone. Now, if your iPhone signal is really spotty, if you're trying to connect to your carrier to make calls or receive texts or anything like that, but it's just not working very well, I'll show you how to check the exact signal strength. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing you can do is get a rough sense by swiping down from the top right. And we're gonna turn off Wi-Fi. By turning off Wi-Fi, you'll be able to see at the top left, I have AT&T, that is my network. You might see T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, whatever network carrier that you have. But you'll be able to see I have 5G and two bars. But if I make and receive calls without Wi-Fi turned on, it essentially drops the call immediately. So I can check the real signal strength Let's turn that back on by doing a field test. And you can do that basically by typing in a specific code into the phone app. So you can see here, this is the code that you're gonna type in. It is star 3001 pound 12345 pound star. So I'm gonna hit copy here. Again, that is the code that you wanna type into your phone. Now, let's go to the phone app and we will hit paste and call. Now, this isn't gonna call, this will take you to a secret screen. You can see the FTM dashboard. This is basically a field test for your current signal. You can see carrier AT&T and it has my network on here at the very top. And then below that is LTE. So I have 12 bands, the bandwidth, cell ID, what you're gonna focus on midway down is this RSRP. So you can see RSRP is at negative 107 dBm. So on here, you're gonna just focus on that number, negative 107, and you'll compare it with this website that shows you a really great indication of where you're at. So you can see I'm at negative seven, so I'm in this range negative 100 to negative 109, which is a poor range. So again, the RSRP, you're gonna find where you're at. Essentially, if you have a really good, strong signal where you're at, you're gonna want to be basically higher than negative 89. Keep in mind, these are all negative numbers. So higher than eight, uh, negative 89 would actually be something like negative 60 or negative 70, something like that. So basically compare your signal strength on here through the field test with this, and you'll be able to get a, an exact idea of what your real signal strength is. If you want to go a next step after that, you can always open up the app store here, and there are cool apps called like the Cell Tower Finder. Essentially, you can download and install these apps, and it will show you exactly the location of you as well as a nearby cell tower. So for instance, again, I have AT&T. If you have AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, it will show you the closest T-Mobile or AT&T tower. If that's LTE or 5G or whatever, you'll be able to see that all on there and get a good idea of why you have either really good cell signal or strength, or maybe why it's really bad wherever you are. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment if you used to have any questions. Thanks, guys.